morning, Parker. Can I help you with something? Well, yes, actually. Natalia told me all about the great job you did on the mine, and you know that broken bridge over yonder? Uh-huh. What'll it be? Well, some more wood and some iron from your mine would shore up the supports. The mayor's excited because a scientist with a big research grant wants to move into the old lookout post. But I just want to take walks up the mountain pass again and visit my favorite flowering dogwood trees. Okay, I'll help. Thanks. You can bring the supplies by my shop when you're ready. This ranch is incredible. I'm Marty Mu Emerson. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Emerson. No, oh, please. Just call me Marty. I want you to know that the ranch you help rebuild is in good hands. Oh, I, I didn't really. I've graduated with honors from the top national course in animal husbandry. Mm hmm. Is that, uh, can we still call it that? I mean, you're a farmer too. And you're a girl. Maybe it should be animal spousedry. Huh? I don't think... Duh. This is already more complicated than I thought. Is it, though? Yeah, maybe we should start by keeping things simple. For now, you can buy eggs from me. When you're ready to raise your own chickens, I can sell you some chicks, too. You'll want to build a coop to keep them from scampering off. <laughs> Learned that one the hard way. Uh, that nice carpenter fellow, Parker, can help you out. Here's the wood for the bonfire, Thomas. Thanks. It's really nice of you to help Sophia out. If that's bait, wash ashore, I'm not biting. Well, nice talking to you, Thomas. Wait, I ugh, need a favor. How can I help? The summer festival is meant to celebrate the bounty of Fairhaven. Sophia and Angus spend the whole week leading up to it cooking and baking. Sophia asked me if I'd help her with the corn for popcorn. I filled up as many of my plots as I can spare, but it won't be enough. You need me to grow corn? Yep. 
Here are the seats. Five bushels ought to do it. doing here? Hmm. Should I let you stay with me? I met Wesley, Grandma. He gave me your journal. I'll keep it safe, I promise. I miss you. I'm sorry about your Graham. My dad said those we've lost never really leave us. I don't think it's true, though. He feels pretty gone to me. I'm getting the sense that Fairhaven's festival isn't just about the solstice. Is there a story behind it? Oh, yes, there certainly is. Here, let's step outside and I'll explain. This is a statue of my ancestors, Peggy and Molly. They lived here during colonial times. Whoa, I knew your family had been here for a while, but I didn't realize just how long. One summer during the Revolutionary War, the British Navy demanded all of the town's stores. So the people of Fairhaven loaded all of their crops and livestock into a storeroom ready for transport. The next morning, the soldiers opened the doors and saw an empty storeroom. So they had to sail away empty-handed. Then Peggy and Molly led the mayor of Fairhaven to the lighthouse. And there it all was. The girls swore up and down that they'd prayed on it and a miracle had happened. To this day, we still don't know how they pulled it off. But we celebrate it, even if we don't understand. And here I thought this was just a statue. <laughs> oh no. It's rare that the things around us are just anything. You two look real professional. Let me snap a photo. Dad, we're working. Hey, it's Sarah. Want some lemonade? You get a discount because you helped us. I sure do. <laughs> Ho there! As you may have heard, we have a little tradition every summer here in Fairhaven. Yes, the uh, summer festival. I know. Well, you're right on top of things, aren't you? I like that in a citizen. Speaking of which, I could use some help. I was waiting for that. With my speech! The peak of summer is everyone's favorite time of year, and I want to capitalize on that goodwill! Do you think I should talk about history? Unity or the future? I think you should talk about bringing the community together. Yes, that's what I'll do. Well, I better get to writing my speech. Hey, 
that you've been asked to help with the summer festival. Yes, Sophia asked me to fetch wood for the bonfire. Bale fire, you mean? Witches have been celebrating the solstice with bale fires for millennia. Non-witch folk came along, kept the custom, changed the name. So it goes. We only remember part of the legend. How does the coven celebrate the festival? Oh, we join in with the rest of the town at the bale fire. Our own traditions, we keep to ourselves. Say, you got any milk and honey? What for? Oh, is it another potion? You gotta learn your summer rites, novice. We leave offerings for the Fey folk every summer. It's tradition. Okay, well, honey, I can handle. But milk, I don't have a cow. The island will provide. Are you telling me to just search for a cow? Of course not. You might be able to strike a deal with the rancher who just moved in. You got that incantation written? Yes, and I'll bring it to you soon. Take your time. <laughs> Here are your strawberries, Angus. Aw, aren't you sweet? <laughs> See what I did there? If you want a piece of the shortcake, just come by Town Square during the festival. I saw that Violet's selling marigold seeds now that summer started. Did you know that marigolds scare off pests? Something about the way they taste, I guess? So, don't eat any. Should only take a day or so. This is the Farseer Witch. 
I'll have to make another incantation and explain myself if I'm wrong. Here you go, Shelby. That's fine. You keep it. You'll need it. So I passed? You were always gonna pass. Now, go on. Don't want folks getting too curious. I gave Thomas the wood you needed. <sighs> Lovely. Here, this is fresh out of the oven. You deserve it. Had any luck with building that coop? Once you do, I'll be able to sell you some chicks. Otto tells me you're also new to Fairhaven. Did the get back to the land bug bite you too? Well, not like it bit you. I mostly came to take care of my grandmother. Hazel, right? I heard that she passed away recently. My condolences. I'll show her the way, once I figure out how to get there myself. Finally!
I'm Tara Wild. I own the farm down the mountain path. Are you the new scientist? Oh, I think I saw your farm on my way in. Oh, it's charming. I'm Giva Joshi. And yes, I'm a meteorologist. I'm here to study the funny weather patterns you have here in Fairhaven. Oh, is our weather that strange? It seems pretty normal to me. Really? Well... I understand you're having a reduced rainfall compared to other areas in the region. Unusual for this time of year. Well, in any case, your mayor told me you might show me the way to town? Uh, absolutely! Uh, follow me. This is the blacksmith run by Natalia. Wait, like an actual village blacksmith? Oh, how quaint! I wonder if she could make me copper wiring for a new antenna. And here we are! The Town Hall. Oh, you must be Giva! I'm Mayor Otto Soft. Thanks for bringing her by, Tara. We have a little game we play with all new arrivals in Fairhaven. Introduce yourself to all your neighbors, and they'll let me know when you've met everyone. <laughs> You're a riot. Actually, he's serious. Oh, wait. Really? Yes! And you'll get a prize to help you get settled. Oh, you've already met Tara. So that's one down. Um, okay, why not? Should be good for a laugh, right? This island may be stranger than I thought. Uh, what was that? Oh, nothing. I picked the cotton. I should have... Ow! Worn gloves. Yep. The ends of the bowls are sharp. You could have... I don't know... Mentioned that? Didn't want to insult your intelligence by presuming you didn't know better. No, don't worry. In the future, presume away. You need to build a loom to make cotton cloth. It will take some wood, but you've got plenty on your land. Right. So... Build a loom? That's all you need. Then you can make cloth on it. Come see me when that's done. Thank <laughs> you. 
ready for bed. 